If you can use one word to describe Polly, what would it be? Fun. Caring. Exciting. Vibrant. Enthusiasm. Brooklyn. Welcome oh, to Polly Prep. Hi everyone, this is Serene. So today I'm taking you guys to another campus tour. And today I'm at Polly Prep, the top 10 private school in New York. Let's go. It is fascinating to have such a beautiful campus in New York City. And I think the best way to understand Poly Prep is to hear from the faculty and the students. I feel really honored to have the opportunity to interview the school leaders. They opened my eyes about Poly Prep's vision, diversity, and uniqueness. Let's hear from them. Very honored to have the head of the school here, Audrey, who worked at so many great institutions as the head. And what do you think the difference between Poly and all the other places? Oh my gosh, we, our school right now, we may, we, we, we may be the hottest school <laughs> in America. I like that, right? I like that. We idea. are on fire right mm -hmm. now. Um, we have, um, our applications are going through the roof, support for the school is going through the roof. Um, we, have really settled into our identity. Mm -hmm. And my experience in working with Olympic champions, working with world-class scholars, is that when you have an identity, when you know who you are, people come because they want to be part of that identity. And our school's identity is threefold. The first is diversity. We want to be the most diverse school in the United States of America. Differences of all kinds. Mm -hmm. The second is we want to be a total package school. We want every student to pursue excellence academically, in the arts, and athletically. That ancient Greek ideal of mind, body, and spirit. We want all of that. And then finally, the third pillar of our school's identity, we call it Brooklyn, because we want every single student to become the best, well, we want you to become the best you that you can be. So Peggy, you mentioned that you really enjoy the real diversity here at Poli. So could you share a little bit more about how the diversity defines Poli's identity? Of course. First of all, Serena, thank you for your interest in Poli and coming to our campus. Because Poli is in New York City, obviously the biggest city in the United States, We've had a long history of a lot of different types of students coming to our campus just because of the fact that we're in New York. Mm -hmm. um, it is America's most important city. We are just minutes away from several airports and we have a very large fleet of buses, as I mentioned, that bring our students here. Our campus is really on par with a school in New England, mm -hmm. yet we are the United Nations headquarters is just minutes away. So the, the combination of that is really, some of it's been luck, mm -hmm. but then the school has been built over the past hundreds of years. What I'm looking forward to is the vision for our future. Next, let's hear from the school admission. So we are so honored to have Mr. Graham here. You once said you have the best job in the world. Can you tell us a little bit more of your job at Poly? Sure. So I oversee admissions into Poly, financial aid, and then also college counseling on the back end, helping students get into college. And so I think the reason that I think I have the best job is I actually do have the best job. Education changed the course of my life, and I actually do think that education can change people's lives and their entire life trajectory. Uh, so every day my job is to get to know our families, care mm -hmm. about them. I feel like I'm an additional part of their family. So I frame every meeting with families like I'm at the dinner table talking to someone, you know, and I can say anything that's going to help them get better. Uh, and then just being part of their growth and development when they're here is really exciting. Mm -hmm. And I'm honored to be at Poly in particular because I think, I think in a lot of schools, uh, you have to potentially give up a part of your identity. So for example, I have a three-year-old daughter. Mm -hmm. We don't know right now, my wife and I, if she's going to gravitate when she's older toward the arts or if she's going to be really interested in volleyball, mm -hmm. or if she's going to be mainly interested in chemistry. We don't know. And I think at a lot of schools, you have to decide what your identity is mm -hmm. and then pick a school that's right for it. And at Poly, 
our focus on academics, arts, and athletics means that you can grow into whoever you are naturally without having to change schools. Right? That's and I think amazing. that's, yeah, it's really exciting and it gives people the chance to sort of, to be around kids that are different than them. So if she comes here and she's really interested in chemistry and doesn't really gravitate towards sports, her best friend might be mm -hmm. a national caliber wrestler. And that's kind of cool, right? It's a really interesting environment to be part of. So it is really a campus for the students to be truly who you are. Absolutely, yeah, with 26 acres of land. Uh, when the first time I arrived to campus, I thought, this is New York City? How, how can this possibly be? There's two ponds, we have animals. You know, it's like a, it's, it's a blast. It's a really mm -hmm. fun place to be. So what kind of international students Polly are looking for? I think it boils down to we're looking for students who make us better. And it's, it's, if that sounds too simple, it actually is the truth. So uh, if it's, you know, we're in admissions committee, it's unbelievably competitive, and we're just looking for students. We're trying to look into our crystal ball and anticipate how is this student going to make the Polly community stronger? Is it going to be on stage as a, as a singer or a dancer? Will it be in the labs in our science building? In what way are they going to add value? Maybe they're going to be an eSports player, mm -hmm. right? And they're going to kind of do their thing on that stage. So it, it doesn't really matter, but it's just in some way we want that student to come here and take advantage of Polly mm -hmm. and, and make us a stronger community. After we understand Polly's culture and identity, let's explore the academic programs here. We know that Polly has such a strong academic program. Could you share a little bit of highlights about Polly's curriculum? I'd be delighted. It's one of my favorite topics. So the features of our academic program that I'm most proud of are first and foremost our classes. Our classes are places of excitement, intellectual excitement. Mm -hmm. They're places of collaboration because none of the world's problems will be solved by any of us alone. They are places in which we privilege a certain mindset, a broad mm -hmm. mindset about the world, its diversity, the empathy that we all need mm -hmm. in order to meet and see and recognize and respect one another. So these are features of our program and we do the work in any number of ways. We match students with experts. We've just created a program for girls in STEM, in the STEM so fields in which we match girls with experts in the fields of STEM. Mm -hmm. So just this last week, in the last seven days, our cohort of infinite STEM girls, mm -hmm. that's what we call them, infinite STEM, with the FI standing for female identifying, our girls have visited a Columbia University laboratory that studies pediatric viruses. Mm -hmm. They then went to NYU's, New York University's Tandon School of Engineering, where they met with the women who run Makerspace and other engineering labs. So that the girls can take what they've learned in the classroom, mm -hmm. but see it in action. See how the learning in the classroom actually manifests in the world beyond our campus. And so both here on campus and in the world beyond. You mentioned that students at Poly are leaders, thinkers, and so many other amazing roles. So how does the school help the students to be in so many different roles? Oh, that's such a good question. I think um, there are multiple different ways that students can um, really operate to see their true potential. Uh, and that really starts in the classroom and then expands to our community programs. So our curricular development, um, the work that our teachers do with students in the class, um, really tries to engage them in critical thinking skills, tries to allow them to embrace parts of their identity that they mm -hmm. might know or not know yet, um, and really see themselves as leaders um, in these small group settings. We also offer incredible opportunities for students to take those leadership skills work learned in the classroom uh, to clubs and activities, to our sports uh, fields, to the performing arts stage, uh, to really embrace who they are and connect to what they believe is important. It's essential for us, for students, to have a good understanding of their values and their beliefs and then really see themselves as agents of change mm -hmm. going forward. Uh, so there's a lot of incredible leadership opportunities for our students here. Next, let's go to the art class. What would be something special about Polly's art program? 
Uh, one of the things I really love about the arts program at Poly is the range of experience students have from uh, general classes where they can really begin to develop their artistry to advanced classes where they can dive in a little bit deeper. Uh, we have a new program called the Excellence in Arts Progr Certificate Program, and this gives students who are really committed to Poly's arts program beyond their two and a half years of requirements um, an extra opportunity to shine and really be recognized for their work. Uh, we also have a Pathways program for ninth and 10th graders where we monitor their, their enrollment and make sure that they're getting into the classes that they really want to be in in the arts. Mm -hmm. um, and beyond the classes during the school day, we have a lot of opportunities outside of class, such as our main stage theater productions, our club ensembles and dance programs, um, Poly Conservatory after school lessons program, um, across the board, there are lots of opportunities for students to get involved in the arts at Poly. Okay, so now I'm going to take you guys to the sports center. Let's go. So I know that you are a head coach of the U.S. Olympic team and the Canadian team and Chinese team. So that's so amazing. So what makes Polly's athletic program so great? Well, I think there's a commitment. There is a commitment uh, from the school, mm -hmm. uh, from our community, the parents, and of course there has to be a commitment uh, for two other groups. And the most important one is the student athlete, and then of course. And then of course your mm -hmm. coaches um, and the commitment that we get I would say from our student athletes and coaches is paramount and they do a great job uh, it's not okay uh, to not come to practice mm -hmm. you have to be there you have to be consistent you have to be a good teammate and and the great thing about Polly is that we start that uh, that development process in fifth fifth grade here uh, we call it the athlete development program, mm -hmm. whereas you can choose specific activities, let's say basketball, and if you want to be good in basketball, or at least try and be on the team, you could start playing that in seventh and eighth grade. So I think that's where we're a little bit different from a lot of independent day schools. Now it's time to hear from the students. What's one thing you like about Poly? Well, I think it's the, really the environment here. Students can really do whatever they want, and the faculty members and all the teachers will put their all effort to support a student. For example, I started my own initiative on art education. Um, I aim to brought art education to rural China on the privileged areas. And so I had to develop my own art lessons. So I go to my art history teacher, Ms. Coppola, and Ms. Coppola really did help me um, to develop my lessons and give me suggestions. So I think that's the one thing I really, really like at Poly about, because like every student have their own chance to do something they want, and everybody is so supportive about that. I had a terrific campus experience at Poly. One thing I admire is that the school empowers the students to be the leader and gives them the platform to shine with their true identity.